Hello everyone, and welcome to a brief walkthrough of what you can expect while using Monday.com. What we're looking at here is the homepage for your workspaces, where you can get a bird's eye view of all your active boards, members, and permissions data. Within the submenu here, you can do a quick search for any board task or document, check out a list of your favorite items, jump into one of your available workspaces, or even start a new workspace. Within each workspace, you'll have folders and boards that you can use to organize your projects, tasks, and departments. You'll also have access to dashboards, which lets you decide what data to display using widgets. Now let's jump right into one of our boards. Each board will be broken down into activity groups, activity items, and activity sub-items. You can attach a team member to each item, change the item status, set a timeline, record a completion date, and much more. If the column you need isn't here, you can add it from a list of options. Files, formulas, tags, checkboxes, and more. Within each task, you can add updates, chat with your team, upload documents, set reminders, hop into the apps marketplace for different item view add-ons, check out the activity log, and even export the whole thing to Excel. Zooming out a bit, the left-hand navigation menu allows easy access to your notifications as well as your inbox. You can also view what's going on across your boards by week. You can add new members, search everything, and access the Help Center. Clicking on your profile picture in the bottom corner will bring you to a few features you might have seen elsewhere, like integrations in the app's marketplace, as well as additional options, like your profile, shortcuts, dark mode, and working status. This is just a small sample of what Monday.com has to offer, so be sure to read the rest of our review to learn more about different features, pros and cons, and use cases for the tool. Thank you.